This video was created by Vinyl Lake Puma of Vinyl Lake Puma Gaming. What's going on everybody? This is Vinyl Lake Puma and today I'm back with another Fallout 4 unique weapons guide video for you guys. And today we're going to be looking at how to get the Tessa's Fist Raider Power Arm. Now this thing uh, technically is armor. Uh, it does have quadruple durability than normal which is really nice. Uh, but what makes this as a weapon, um, it has an unarmed uh, damage improvement of like 15 as you can see there. Now to get this thing you're going to need to go to the Quincy Police station aka Quincy Ruins they're both kind of in the same area uh, I recommend approaching from the south as if you approach from the north you're gonna have to fight a bunch of people before you have to take down Tessa and essentially all you have to do to get this thing is kill Tessa and then kill some of the cronies here like I'm going to and then pick it up uh, now basically again I do recommend you approach from the south because if you approach from the north uh, you're going to have to fight Clint, and you're going to have to fight Bradley, and one of the two always has a Fat Man rocket launcher, and if you get hit with that, you're pretty much dead. So again, approach from the south. Now, I figured like with all of the other uh, weapons, and in this case, I guess, armor pieces, uh, we would do a Deathclaw test on this. And I mean, this is a character that is not specced for unarmed. Uh, I believe this character has like three strength, and I mean, all things considered, this is actually doing a lot better than I would have expected. I mean, it, those of you that remember the Zeta gun video, I mean, that the Zeta gun barely damaged this thing. But this is actually doing a decent amount of work, considering that I'm not specced for these skills at all. And I mean... Yeah, so, I mean, if you had, like, 10 strength, maybe, and then you were heavily specced into unarmed, this would probably be an essential weapon for you, and probably would be the best uh, melee weapon for unarmed, if that makes sense. But anyway, guys, I think that's going to pretty much wrap up this video. If you like this video, please be sure to leave a like, and take care, and I'll see you all next time.